Hello mathematicians and welcome to 2.5 ratios on graphs. Today our essential question as you can see is how do I graph a set of ratios and what does that ordered pair mean? Go ahead and grab your supplies for today. You're going to need that writing utensil, math notebook, growth mindset, and some determination because we have a few learning goals today. In fact, we have three of them. The first one is I can graph a set of ratios. The second, I can determine a set of ratios from a graph. And then last but not least, I can explain what an ordered pair on a graph represents. So we have a lot to do today. Let's get started. We know that ratios can be written on tables, just like this. I'm comparing burgers to hot dogs. It's the same set of ratios. It's just one table is side to side, one table is up and down. But ratios can also be represented on graphs. So we need to take a minute and just talk about the different parts of a graph and how we get those parts from the ratio tables. So I'm betting that you know from your science class that on the graph, the x-axis is on the bottom, it is horizontal, and the y-axis is on the side, it's vertical, it runs up and down. So now the question is, are the burgers going on the x-axis or are the hot dogs going on the x-axis? Well, I'm glad you asked. On ratio tables, the x-axis is first. So if it's running this way, it's gonna be on top. If it's running up and down, it's going to be on the left. Just like when you see in your alphabet, you say X, Y, Z, X came first. On ratio tables, X is always first. It's either on the top or it's on the left. And so that means the Y axis is always second. It's always on the bottom or it's always on the right. So looking at the graph here, the X axis is on the bottom. We now know that's going to be our burgers. And the y-axis there on the side, that's going to be our hot dogs, okay? All right, so let's graph these ratios. I've added a few things to our graph, as you can see, like I added a title, and I also um, added a scale there to count by. And so everything's all labeled. It's ready to go. The first ratio that I want to graph is four burgers to two hot dogs. Burgers are on the x-axis. They are on the bottom, and so I will do that first. And so it's four, I'm gonna move over to the four. Don't draw that arrow in your notes. We're gonna take it away in just a minute, but I wanted you to be able to see where I'm going. And then hot dogs is two, and that is vertical, so I'm going up two spaces. That's where I'm gonna plot that first ratio. Four burgers, two hot dogs. So the next one is eight burgers and four hot dogs. So I'm going over eight two spaces on burgers and then I'm going up four spaces on hot dogs. And so that one goes there. And last but not least is 12 to six. So to the right, 12 spaces up to the six. It's gonna go right there, okay? All right, let's try this one. We're gonna graph cars and trucks. Again, I've given us a title. These are teacher vehicles. Um, but I need to know which one is the x-axis and which one is the y-axis. What am I putting on that bottom? Yeah, I'm going to put cars on the bottom because the x-axis always comes first. And that means the y-axis is my trucks. So here the first one is six cars for five trucks. So on the cars on the x-axis, I'm moving over to six. And then I'm moving up to five on trucks. But wait a minute, there's not a five over there. Well, where would five be? You got it, between four and six. So that's where I'm gonna put my point. All right, the next one is 12 to 10. So I'm going over 12 and up to 10. And then last but not least, 18 to 15. And this is another one that is gonna fall in the middle and that's okay. So that is how you take a ratio table and graph it. All right, time for you to pause and try the next problems in your notes. All right, hopefully your graph of band instruments looks a little bit like this. If not, go back and check your work, ask those questions and get it figured out. All right, so now we're gonna do the opposite. Now we've got the graph and we're gonna complete the table. I've got green paint to red paint. I know that green is my x-axis, it's horizontal. Red is my y, it's vertical. That first dot looks to be on the green paint between two and four, so I'm gonna call that three, so that would be three green. And then it goes up to four, so that must mean I need four reds. That next dot is real clear, it's six green and eight red. And then last but not least, I've got 12 green and 16 red. 
Okay. All right, now you're going to pause and try one of those on your own and then come back and check your work. All right, hopefully these are the ratios of strawberries and blueberries that you came up with on our fruit baskets, 5 to 1, 15 to 3, and 20 to 4. All right, one last piece. This is our last learning goal. What does an ordered pair mean? So the title of this graph is gym membership. I've got months along the x-axis. I've got costs along the y-axis. And I want to know what this ordered pair right here means. So my first question is, what is the ordered pair? Well, the ordered pair in this case is 1, 22. It's the x and then the y. It's that ratio. So we have to remember, just like we said a few minutes ago, that x always comes first. So the X was one, that comes first in my ordered pair. Now, what does that one and that 22 tell us? It tells us that one month cost $22, okay? So you gotta be able to look at the graph and figure out what information you can get from it. Let's try another one. We've got school play costumes. We've got yards of fabric on the X axis and we've got the number of costumes on the Y axis. Here is the point we're looking at. That ordered pair is 418. We're remembering that X comes first. And so what does that tell us? Yeah, that means it takes four yards of fabric to make 18 costumes. All right, another pause and try on your own. Hopefully you came up with eight hot dogs cost $5 and five buses for every six taxis. You do not have to have it worded exactly like that but that should be the same idea that you come up with. And that, mathematicians, is 2.5 ratios on graphs. You should now be able to answer that essential question, how do I graph a set of ratios and what does the ordered pair mean? Shout out to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, Bricks and Border on Pixel Garden Arts, Pixel Garden Designs, excuse me, for your amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.